I just wanted to make a quick video and I wanted to talk about uh, social anxiety, life anxiety, overcoming fears and achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve. From my 30, uh, I was going to say 33 years of experience, that, that wouldn't be right because I was born, I would say probably from my early to, early to late teens up until the age I am now, I've realised that there's no way of there's no way of achieving um, self-confidence or anything in life without getting uncomfortable. And I know for myself, I never in, I never enjoy initially getting uncomfortable when I've had to face uh, personal fears, being in, in the external world or internally in my own personality, my own psyche, looking at stuff, dealing with things in the past. Social anxiety has really taught me a lot with having it and overcoming it and that was that the uncomfortableness is a teacher in itself and it feels like you're suffering and you are suffering you're suffering a transition so just a small example <clears throat> I'm in the park now and let's just say um, I've got to get to the other side just an analogy it's just use an analogy here, it helps me, I have to use these examples to break down and explain concepts, I struggle sometimes. So, if there was loads of shit in here, but I gotta get to the other side and there's loads of shit, I think I don't wanna go through all this shit, I don't wanna get this stuff on my shoes, but there's no other way in the park. There's no other way, everything's closed, there's only one path and it's full of shit for, I don't know, 30 yards. But it's not, it's not like that forever. <laughs> it's not a great analogy but I have to get to the other side if I don't get to the other side I'm going to die and social anxiety is like that and any anxiety, any, any f fear is like that so you walk through for a second and you're like ah oh, fucking hell it's full of shit in there and it do it's not comfortable it doesn't make you feel good it might make you feel dirty it makes you feel ashamed it makes you feel embarrassed it makes you feel angry and then as you go through it and then you come out and as you come out you say you see that there's a relief there's a oh, I can relax now because it's over but something's happened you didn't realize it at the time because as you're going through this shit it was stressful it was uncomfortable and you it can make you feel weak especially if you're a man I understand this myself from helping other men it can make you feel less of a person but it's only when you've gone through shit and you've grown, you realise I had to go through the shit. It was good for me. It didn't feel good at the time because every part of my, every part of me was saying, I don't, I can't, I don't want this. But this is kind of a lesson that they never taught in school. Maybe I wasn't listening. There's a little bit of a joke in that. I make these little jokes sometimes. Maybe I wasn't listening. I was spaced out in my head. But I don't remember the teacher saying, you know, we want the best for you kids. We love all you kids. I'm not so sure they did. Another little jibe. But when you leave school, the lessons that we've taught you, we've did our best. We've taught you the curriculum, which is a foundation to get you started. But don't rely on this bullshit. Because <laughs> when you go out into the world, you're going to have to face terrifying things. You're going to have to get uncomfortable. But don't worry kids, it's not all doom and gloom because everyone's got to go through this. It's called life and it's going to grow you and it's going to help you, it's going to connect you and it's going to bring a lot of love and happiness into your life and look forward to it, be excited about it. If we were taught this, it wouldn't be uncomfortable. Maybe we have to go for it. But we're conditioned, most of us were, even growing up in a family household or and being around friends and even the way we talk to ourselves, we're, we're always avoiding, avoidance, very common in psychology. Of, uh, all of us have that. I don't care who you are. You don't have to have social anxiety or a crisis or depression. We've all got that of avoidance shadow. I still have it. And I've been coming out my comfort zone since I came out of the womb. <laughs> but we all have it. Because it, I've been facing fears. I know this. I know this from not from intellect, not from Google, from experience, from doing it all the time. Even making YouTube videos sometimes, it's uncomfortable. 
I don't want to talk about stuff in my childhood in the past and things that I've done that I'm ashamed of and, and also pointing people out for things they've done wrong. It, but when I do it, I grow and it helps other people to grow and I understand why I did it. And as time goes on, what was uncomfortable five years ago is comfortable. And it's the same with becoming more socially confident with people and becoming more open and more relaxed in yourself. You've got to go through the uncomfortable or it's in your interest. So when you, when you actually get down to the truth of something, you start thinking differently about it and feeling different. Same for public speaking. I've said this a lot of times before, I know. It's never been comfortable for me, public speaking. I'm good at it. I'm amazing at it. I'm a good speaker. I'm very confident, you can probably tell. But initially, it's uncomfortable when I'm walking on my way because the voice is in my head. Why am I doing this? What if I don't say the right stuff? What if I'm not as good as I was before? Should I really be saying this? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Once I get there, I'm an expert in what I teach, what I talk about. People are there to hear it, it's gonna help them. I enjoy it. Those feelings go away, you connect. And then you love it, you come away, you say, I should be doing public speaking every day. I should be doing it every day, actually. Why don't I do it every day? Why, what was I thinking? Well, what you was thinking was a lifetime's worth of conditioning from our society, parents and teachers. So, it, it, when people say, people write to me sometimes, say, I want to come to your social event, but I'm quite nervous. I'm, you're probably going to think I'm strange. And I'll say, no, no, I'm going to think you're very normal. Because if you didn't have these illusory inner fears and voices, I would think you were strange, because we all have it. Even as a teacher, I still experience it. We just get better at managing it. And, and that comes from the realization of uh, getting uncomfortable. But I think there's something I want to add that they didn't teach me in school. <clears throat> Why should we get uncomfortable? Why should I get uncomfortable to help you guys? And why should you get uncomfortable to help yourself? Why should you do it? That's another great question. They don't ask that in school enough. Viktor Frankl, um, with his development of psychology that, that he called logotherapy, that he, if my memory serves me correctly, was born out of his experience in Auschwitz, surviving a situation that he had, he was not expected to survive, let's put it that way. Purpose got him through. He had a strong purpose. His purpose was to survive and pass the message on to other people, no matter how bad you're struggling in life, if you've got a purpose, you can go through the uncomfortable. You can face life and death situations. I've done it myself, nothing to that equation, but when I was younger, I was in a few life and death situations and I managed to escape fights, violence, who were trying to stab me, rob me, a strong will, a strong purpose to make you go through the uncomfortable to survive. So, the ultimate purpose is love. That's to go straight to it. But if that's going too direct, you wanna go back, it's usually to feel good about yourself, even with making money. For me to make money running a business, it wasn't comfortable, because of what I, I had to do public speaking, I had to put myself out. You can't escape it. It's inescapable. <clears throat> and guess what? If you avoid getting uncomfortable when you stay in your comfort zone, you're not going to be comfortable. <laughs> you're, you're not going to be un, you're not going to be comfortable. Do you know why? Because you won't let yourself be comfortable. Life won't let you be comfortable. With that inner voice in the back of your head, that's not going to. That's you can't you can't trick that guy or whatever it is that demon. So you won't let you be comfortable. I won't let you, I won't let you be comfortable. You won't let me be comfortable. And that's your potential speaking. That's your potential saying, what the fuck are we doing? Oh no, I swore again, I'm sorry. I promise not swear in my videos. It is the Irish in me. What the fuck are you doing? Get up, let's go. Let's achieve, let's, let's be ourselves. Let's stop running away from, from enjoyment, from success. Whatever that means to the individual watching this video. So the uncomfortable is a teacher. 
an invisible teacher that is projected out in the external world and it's, it comes in different forms. It comes sometimes in having to go to an event, have a conversation with someone about something that was difficult to talk about, facing yourself in the mirror, stopping an addiction. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. And I'm learning as I get older, more experience in life, that these moments and periods of uncomfortable are periodic. So it's not like you face them and go, I've done now, it's complete. Uh, like a video game, I, I've mastered the uncomfortable. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. You think you have. <laughs> and I think I have, but you haven't. Because there's another one coming. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm making myself laugh today. There is another one around the corner. <laughs> and that's a, that's a bigger wave coming for you. So you can't escape it. And social anxiety taught me this, depression taught me this, suicidal thoughts, all the victimization. Success taught me this. I'm quite modest sometimes. I don't like talking about my success. You'll probably notice that I talk a lot about my failures. Because that feels part of who I am, if that makes sense. I'm only a success because I've been such a failure in my life. Does that make sense? I know you would understand me. So. When I started to achieve success, I enjoyed it. But my mind, you know, in my, my own psyche went, okay, this makes sense. I understand why God or life is granting me the success, which came at the time in the form of self-praise from other people, being liked, being recognized. Uh, just that, se that sense of self-satisfaction, overcoming fears, public speaking, improving your finances, improving my uh, dating experience with women as a teacher, all the, all the things, some little, something, some other things I can't think of at the moment. Just being able to go into the Apple store and buy a laptop, that was success for me. I couldn't do that years ago. And this is not bragging rights, but I bought a, an Apple for a thousand pounds. That was impossible for me to do that a few years ago. I didn't even have a thousand pounds. But hard work facing the uncomfortable allowed that money to come through, through giving value and helping people put myself out. So it's all uncomfortable. Erectile dysfunction, fear, anxiety, fear of intimacy. That was not comfortable and I know that some of you watching this would have gone through that if you're men. And women go, well, women don't go for erectile dysfunction because women don't have penises. Well, anything's possible today. But women have to go through fears as well. That's why a lot of women will say, I'm going to call you out because you always call us guys out. Don't turn the light on. How come, don't turn the light on. All right, I won't turn the light on. Because some women are shy. That's, I find it sweet. My, one of my ex-girlfriends was like that. They don't want to expose themselves. They've got a bit of embarrassment. It's quite attractive, it's human. But that's uncomfortable initially in a relationship till you get to know someone. So it's, it's inescapable. Because uncomfortable is internal, external. When people get embarrassed socially, I've had a lifetime of it, as you can probably tell, and overcoming it, and then sometimes it revisiting. It's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing. It's, you feel judged, you feel in the spotlight, you feel people looking into the depths of your soul. Getting in the boxing ring, it was uncomfortable. I wanted to do it, part of me didn't want to do it, I wanted to run out. I don't want to fight, it's stressful going in, my ego, what if I lose, what if I hurt someone. But I want to do it, but I'm not sure, but I want to do it. Trainer said, get your gloves on and um, get in. I, oh God, what am I doing? Why am I in this ring? This guy is going to try and kill me, I want to kill this guy. You do the sparring, you come out. Oh, okay, I, I got an understanding of why I went through that. I feel a sense of achievement. Now I feel a friendship growing with this man because we've exchanged something. We've gone in the ring, we've exchanged punches in a controlled way. Now there's a friendship being built after. We had to go through the uncomfortable and friendships like that as well sometimes. So, I don't even, I guess it's necessary. And you can't escape it. None of us can. As Les Brown said, you can't get out of life alive. 
So this is really what I'm learning today, making this video, spending time um, talking to you guys and girls. That it's within your interest to embrace discomfort, but to have a purpose, have a meaning. Otherwise, you'll not be compelled, you'll not be inspired to, to go and do it. You'll find a way out, but it will catch you somewhere. It will let you off the hook for a while. So I'll leave it as that. I could go on for a forever talking about this video. So embrace discomfort. Look for areas in your life where you're uncomfortable. Find a higher meaning, a higher purpose and go and achieve it. And get the realization that I've got many times. Or maybe you've had, but you need to get it more. And remember, there's a big storm waiting around the corner for you. <laughs> Enjoy the process.